administration has said, we need a big stimulus package, we need it now, some of that should go to state and local governments. Yes. And yet my, my concern is, where are the planning smarts that are going to have us take advantage of the opportunities that you talked about? I mean, we know how to do the let's lure the huge industry, let's um, have inspired, you know, buy another condo and sell it all over again. But if we do get the chance to get some new money into the city and into the state, what are we going to do with it that will create jobs, that will change our notion of scale? Where, where is that in the state and right. where is it at the neighborhood level? I, I certainly like what Brad talked about when he talked about looking at the smaller things that can be done. Um, not only because he's right, but also because smaller projects actually statistically create more jobs than the big ones. Um, and what the other part of this economic stimulus that we need help from Washington and Washington is making sure that we actually keep people working and create jobs. So I hope you're right, Brad, that this isn't going to be as bad an economic downturn um, as we have seen in other times. <laughs> I'm not sure you're right. I'd like to believe you, um, but because you were saying the things I want to hear. Um, but I really think that one of the really important points of what you're saying is we can actually do that right away. We can create jobs improving the infrastructure of the city of New York very quickly if somebody gives us some resources. Um, but the bigger picture, as you say, Professor, you know, Governor Patterson went to Washington, I'm going to say it's two weeks ago now, to testify at a hearing about what Congress should do and the, pre and the new president um, to jumpstart our economic reality. And he was asked at the hearing, so everybody says, give me money for infrastructure, but what would you really do if we gave it to you? And more power to Governor Patterson, because he had a list of 40 projects with him that had completed the planning process. And he said, okay, I need to rebuild the Tappan Zee Bridge, and I need for it to have rail as well, which will then tie into a statewide rail system, which would tie into a better regional economic model, since we can't squeeze everybody into the same three feet and I need to do this, and we need a second avenue subway, which of course I have a bias towards since I represent the east side of Manhattan. I really <laughs> wonder why we're building the giant holes in the ground again if we're not actually going to build a subway. Um, so he actually made this list, or somebody made it for him, and he went down to Washington, and he said, so we could do this. But he also said, but if you give me money for food stamps, then that will be, you know, a dollar seventy-three. Um, economic activity for every dollar you give me. It will help feed low-income people, which we have plenty of in New York State. It will create jobs in food stores in poor neighborhoods immediately. Um, and so I would like you to, to invest in an expanded food stamp program as well. And I would like you to do this. And so I think our governor was absolutely right when he sort of said, okay, Washington, we need your help now, but by the way, we're not calling it a handout because we actually send you 80 billion more than we get back every year. So now we're in a situation where we need some of that, and we need that in strategic and smart ways. So Would I the think legislature back him up for Washington easily. easily. You know, so it will go. There's like this. To you the know, a lot of us don't go to politician school, but I always figure that everybody should go to the first five minutes, which is. You go to the government bigger than you and try to get money from them. <laughs> okay. Right, but do, right. You, do you also then feed it into um, a set of programs at the state that really will make sense for generating more economic activity? I mean, and, and I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying that in an accusing way. Right. I'm saying that in a hopeful way right. that there there is some thinking about what we want to look like in five years. Right. So and you're right, and look, Washington won't give us money no strings attached, so they'll actually tell us what we have to do with it, and we'll like some of what they tell us, and we won't like some of what they tell us. And you hope we will be smart, and we're not always, it's true, up there in Albany. Nice joke, we're dysfunctional, at least we're not New Jersey, they're corrupt. But, but no, I think that, you know, when the point is that you know, there's not enough planning in this state, that's absolutely true. And have we not looked long-term enough in our 
sort of our, you know, our structural deals. When Brad was to some degree criticizing EDC for they look at the big projects but not the small ones. New York State economic development monies, what a waste of money. I mean, it's been an outrage. So whatever blame one wants to put on the city for their failure to use economic development dollars correctly, um, mm -hmm. or worse. So yes, we need to. I mean, just a couple of. I mean, the city is inherently a smart growth location. So we we invest in infrastructure. We've got the you know the by, you know by so many factors the best best transit system in the country. Uh, whereas at the state level, we really have no planning at all. So I mean, it's good to fix up the you know I mean there has been some thinking about the Tappan Zee Bridge, but at a broader level, we just don't we don't have a Department of City Planning for the for the state really. So. There is some important, I mean, I think thinking, and I, one area where I give the Bloomberg administration a lot of credit is its Plan YC initiative and sort of trying to think about kind of how to green the city. And I'd like to see that better integrated with its economic development policies, but I think that is an area where um, pretty far sighted things have been done and some neighborhood work uh, has been done as well. I mean, they've really been looking as they've been rolling out bike lanes and public plazas and at the city at a, in a more neighborhood oriented way. Than and he's been, you know, speaking of uh, Mayor Bloomberg and his kind of response to the economic crisis, he, I was hoping that uh, Councilmember Brewer would, would be here to talk maybe about um, uh, Mayor Bloomberg's proposal, proposed those 18 initiatives kind of to cope with the economic damage. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with that, and if you could talk about what you think, how effective do you think those those uh, programs would be, or you know, evaluate there what, what you think um, they might do. So I'm still waiting. I mean, I guess I would say mostly I'm still waiting. I mean, the, those were mostly things that the city already had that they kind of went through and said, tell me some things we're doing to help low-income people. So like, tell me about our food stamp outreach program. And they, you know, tell me about, uh, they, they set up this uh, Center for Economic Opportunity, kind of anti-poverty effort. And it has some, some good but relatively modest programs uh, that have been underway. And most of what they announced were a set of programs that were sort of already in place. Uh, which are good, but I, I mean, I think we haven't yet seen out of the city uh, a, um, oh it, it, it. It's a bad sign, <laughs> That's not bad. That's, That's just a way of opening the agenda so we can have the agenda. It's falling right. apart. Falling apart, very Okay. Um, but we Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I think it's a little hard because at the, there, there are the, the two things that Liz mentioned are the obvious national things to do. I mean, there are these uh, relief programs, unemployment insurance and food stamps that you can pour money into and have immediate benefit. And there are big infrastructure projects that you can pour money into and create jobs. And those are uh, big things that are sort of the, the federal government already kind of has set up and you can flow resources into them. The city doesn't exactly have the equivalent. Uh, and I think we're still waiting, I guess what I would say is I don't, I think it was good to say, here are some things the city's got going, but I would like to see uh, a, a much more ambitious, uh, and even, I guess, I, I mean, it's an important, it's been a confusing moment in time. I mean, I think the debate around term limits and then the focus on the national economy has made it a somewhat confusing time in city politics. But even the conversation, I guess, around the tax rebates, I have to say, has been, uh, I gotta say, I, I wasn't for them to begin with. Uh, I mean, I think it was, a, you know, I think they should have been, uh, I mean, I, I think we, you know, we, we could be doing better things with those dollars. I mean, there's a, a lot of ways to invest in the public schools. Uh, you know, I'd rather see that money being invested in the strength of the city because I don't think people necessarily do something with it that's job creating. But I have to confess that the way the debate's gone, I want mine now, you know? It, it hasn't been done in a way that's been about shared sacrifice, it's been about some of the principles that Liz has talked about in terms of uh, thinking about who can afford to pay and in terms of what it means that we do together uh, to help each other probably. You know, we're at this time of the year where you think about Thanksgiving and you think about food banks and soup kitchens and uh, I, I don't know, I'm waiting for a, a, a better effort on the city level to say we're in this together, here's what that's gonna look like, here's what I'd like to see New Yorkers do, here are some things the city's gonna try. I mean, whatever you think about the federal bailout, you're trying something new every week, you know? It hasn't worked yet, but I mean, like, oh, I don't know, what are we gonna try this week? And they're throwing billions And the city doesn't have billions to throw, but I, I'm looking for a few more kind of uh, uh, 
a bigger indication that there's a serious problem underway and that we're, we're trying to rise to it in a significant way. Because I just came from a meeting at City Hall to get here. 